shit recording oh yeah it is what's up guys this is another video uh that i'm making today and I'll be installing my anticipated sparkle steering wheel that i've been like wanting to fucking install like forever now right here i got the uh hardware that i'm gonna be needing Jesus christ japanese people and they in italy oh shit this shit was made in italy can't see it triple seven sparkle leather the little stripe in the top it's the best it's a six uh bow pattern and it's just fucking amazing it's so light and so much better than my fucking uh oem steering wheel i have the quick release hub right here take this bitch out and this is the one i got all black on black murdered out man just like my 350 you got the little lock mechanism this is the 2.5 version there's different versions that you can get from one to three with uh i don't know what this is for maybe a spacer i guess that's what it is running plate uh you will be needing those as well and up my hub my hub i got my hub right here specifically for the 350z i wouldn't know um other models i just know how to replace them on a 350z uh so this cables will go out through here uh the bolt that ties this to the steering column is right here so let's go ahead and get started start off with you got these little covers here on your steering wheel on each side just gonna pop those open and with a t30 you're just gonna unscrew that's in there so let me go ahead and do that quick. Oh, by the way, this is the OEM steering wheel, as you can tell. It is bunk and it needs to be replaced. I want to replace it. And I'm going to try and keep the uh, cruise control module with me. Uh, the reason why I want to keep it, I don't really use this because um, my car is mostly standard. I mean, it's standard, so. You know i rarely use it or not use it at all but i want to keep this to be able to uh install install a tuner you know different maps and i know you could uh choose between maps with this with this cruise control module so it's best to keep it that's what you want to do you want to in your car forgot to mention make sure the t30 is the one with the that little hole in the middle because if you don't have that you won't be able to can't fucking focus if you don't have that little hole you won't be able to fucking insert it to take off the screw and let's see if i can there you go see what i mean so you need it don't be get those out uh just gonna carefully now uh i almost forgot the negative cable on your car you gotta make sure to disconnect it and wait at least five minutes just so the uh, the electrical current is not going to anywhere near this airbag uh there's two cables that you're going to be seeing behind here and uh that's where your flat screwdriver comes in place you're going to pop those little black pins up and then you're going to push up on the uh on those little fucking connectors let me see if i can do it connector up oh you see so you just do the same to the other all right, so I got the airbag out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this somewhere where it won't hurt me. Release or the hub, whichever. Uh, we'll come with the fucking uh, resistors that you're gonna plug into these. That way your airbag light doesn't come on. Uh, modification, small modification from the cables that run to the uh, cruise control. You need to fucking pull those wires out and put them into the NRG connector that comes with the uh, with the little kit. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove this 19 millimeter bolt uh that way i can get the fucking steering wheel off all right so when you lock your steering wheel into place and you want to unscrew the bolt with the steering wheel just you know you don't have to pull on it hard or anything uh it should easily just come up just by hitting it you know tapping it on the sides here and there that fucking makes your steering wheel move all together so just be careful without breaking that um and this is where you connect that fucking nrg connector uh to get the cruise control harness out you need to remove these uh phillips screws here here and right there 
You just get those out. You should come open. You should be able to get the harness out. Go ahead and do that. All right, so just like that, just a little plastic comes off. For these two Phillips screws for each module, you're just gonna remove those. All right, so now I got modules out. This will be the cruise control. And I think they are spliced. They're spliced around this tape, so you might wanna you now tear this bitch open. And all these wires, you're gonna go ahead and connect just the wires from the cruise control. So just the wires from the cruise control would be these here yellow pink red and black these other ones don't worry about those so just follows these to the connector and on the same fucking pins that they are connected to you will connect it to the nrg connector which they look identical now i am going to solder these so i don't want to just put tape on it so i have this little platform with a soldering iron I just need to replace this little tip because it's broken. These connectors, you gotta remove these little clips. I went ahead and did it to both. Uh, the pink was the very first one here. So I just took it out with this fucking little hook. All you need is a little hook. And you pull this and it should be able to come out. And this one, I put it in. You just gotta uh, take the Take a little piece of this uh, insulation off and I'm going to solder it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to the wires that go to the cruise control. So it's just a few of them actually that I gotta do that to and it should be all good. Okay. This is the yellow one. Let's stick it in here. Push down, push down, damn it, one, two, three, four, this is going to be the fourth pin, pull it out, Got the fourth pin, this is one, two, three, right next to the black one, I'm going to stick this bitch in there, see, it went right in. Now I just need two more, I believe. Now these, these weren't splies, so these just come out easier. Um, so this would be the last two. Let's get the black one out first. Let's get this black one out. The second. First to the last. Get it out like that. And I do them one by one so I won't so I won't lose track. I don't want to lose track where they go. See? Easily. Fucking easy man. There ain't bullshit to it. And last but not least, the red one. I have you know that I don't know. What any of these wires do. I mean, I could find out, but it's no need to. Just gotta, as long as you know where to fucking place them at, I don't think the rest of it matters. Oh, there you go. So you see? All done. Now I just gotta, I just gotta solder these two little ones. The pink and the yellow. I just gotta solder these. So I finished soldering. I haven't soldered in such a long time, so I did a crappy ass job, but that would do for a good hold. Uh, that way they won't come off. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape them. Yeah, just insulate the whole fucking thing just put it together look look nice all right so once you have everything soldered taped up i made it nice and crispy 
I went ahead and just plugged it in and here comes the part where we're gonna go ahead and install the hub the short hub and uh, just make sure that you know this little wedge here lines up with that one and uh, you're just gonna go ahead and put all the wires in through here so once you have the uh, short hub installed with the wires coming out and this um, cruise control module hanging out from back here that'll be fine just go ahead and uh, put the nut back in and just tighten it um, I don't know and give it about maybe 40 pounds maybe a little bit less than that and it should be crispy all right so the next step is the airbag resistors now the energy kit will come with these you see as you can see it has a little fuse that's the resistance needed to cancel out the airbag light so you just put them in the pins each separately now they're not locked in so what i want to do is i want to put just a little bit of tape here on the edge that way i know for sure they're not going to come loose later on because uh, you do need to fit it all in there in that little hub and there is just enough space to put everything in there so you got nothing to worry about so let me go ahead and just tape these up and then we'll go ahead and move to the next step all right so once uh once you have everything tucked in nice you just get the grounding plate you know snug the wire right through it your yellow wire for your quick release hub is going to connect to the black one that we just pulled in through here and the black wire is going to be connected to the grounding plate and then you're just gonna put the grounding plate on there and align the NRG uh, hole that you see there with the short hub hole that's on the top and you just put in the screws all right so I already got everything lined up see the NRG is lined up with the NRG up here I'm tying all six screws that go in there and now we just gotta put this back in there. So right away, um, this thing just locked itself. Just place it in there. This is a little uh, lock thing uh, that you can remove, uh, but it's not recommended. It's for safety reasons. All it takes is just push this, you pull back, on these little levers and it will come right off so but here comes the fun part and that is when we install the sparkle steering wheel this is the L777 as I mentioned six bolt pattern now the screws that you will be needing is a M5 0.8 by 10 millimeters a flathead Phillips I just picked them up at Home Depot because I didn't want to fucking wait on screws just to get you know get in the mail so i just went ahead and got those so let me go ahead and just line these up and I'll show you the how it looks all right so i already finished installing the leather sparkle steering wheel say man i love it like this is one of the best mods you can do to your interiors and the next step would be the horn uh, the issue with this thing is that these are both males, so we got to figure out a way to connect the male with a male. Yay! So this is what I did. I got another wire that did have a female connector, and I went ahead and uh, I just cut the black one and the white one, and I just uh, taped it up together. I was going to solder it, but it's going to take a while, and I don't feel like doing that. I want to finish this already. Um, so that's how we have it set up now. So just gotta put it back in, and it should be nice and crispy. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe I have to shave it down. Damn it. All right. So there it is. Now uh, the horn button does come with this uh, little decal you can install. Uh, it just makes it. It just makes it ten times much better relocate this uh, cruise control and somewhere around here uh, what to do more things I want to change out those clusters um, you know give them a, a different lighting you can 
my shift now for sure the shift boot it's so ugly maybe the console later on in the future i'm not too worried about this uh, i need to start uh saving up more money so i could do more interior mods exterior mods for sure uh i want some wheels uh, i want a tuner for sure that's why i keep the the cruise control module so i can do a tuner on this car so i want to do all those things so subscribe uh, if you like it hit the like button if you don't um i mean there's other channels that i'm pretty sure that are more specific than i am uh thank you for watching